Good morning, everybody. I want to thank Alex Cabrera and Lalo's on Maxwell for hosting us this morning. I want to thank the organizers and all of the county agencies here to support this exciting announcement. I'd like to recognize Commissioners Alma Anaya and Kevin Morrison, who both served on our small business working group and contributed to the development of this program. And I also, before I forget, like to thank David Jones, our sign language interpreter this morning. It's great to see so many familiar faces and partners on this special occasion when we announce a program that will be life-changing for thousands of Cook County small business owners. Today, I'm thrilled to announce our GROW Grant program, which will provide $71 million through 2026 in grants to small business owners as they work to recover from the pandemic. This year's program will distribute a little more than $25 million to small businesses. Each grant will provide $10,000 and valuable one-on-one -on -one business advising to any business located in Cook County that has fewer than 20 employees and which is able to demonstrate a negative impact from the COVID-19 pandemic. GROW grants will help to close racial wealth and opportunity gaps by infusing small businesses with the necessary capital to scale their operations along with the all-important one-on-one business advising that can help entrepreneurs speed their business growth. We'll prioritize entrepreneurs of color, women, veterans, LGBTQ community, and persons with disabilities, as well as those businesses in the hardest hit sectors, which includes accommodations, hospitality, restaurants, arts and entertainment, childcare, social assistance, retail, transportation, and warehousing. We'll prioritize businesses in suburban Cook County and micro businesses with fewer than 10 employees. The county established what is now called the Cook County Small Business Source at the onset of COVID. To date, we've provided direct support to almost 5,000 businesses. And we're proud to say that 68% have been businesses owned by people of color. The most frequently requested service has been access to capital. The pandemic and uncertain economy and the current labor market have created a very difficult environment for businesses, and the need for capital continues. In 2020, we distributed $17 million in grants, which supported more than 10,000 businesses during one of the most challenging times in recent memory. We know this program will have a similar impact on, on businesses as they pivot to, new, to a new environment. We're excited to announce that the Women's Business Development Center Thank you very much. And the Allies for Community Business, which I believe is also here, will serve as our grant administrators. These organizations represent the best in class, and we're thrilled to have them as partners for this historic program. We've planned a robust set of outreach event, events, both virtual and in-person, designed to provide entrepreneurs with assistance in applying. Lalo's on Maxwell has partnered with the Bureau of Economic Development and, they're, and we're proud to support this thriving business. To speak about his experiences, please welcome Alex Cabrero, our host. Welcome, welcome, thank you very much, thank you. On behalf of Lalos, I would like to welcome you all. Uh, it's a pleasure having you here, Madam President. Thank you for coming around again. Uh, I've been working with the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for many years. Uh, they, do, they do a fantastic job. Uh, Jaime is doing great, great, great. Uh, all the help that, that, that we've received through the, this past two years from the federal government, it's been also incredible. Uh, business, small businesses is what keep America going. Uh, we pay a tremendous amount of taxes. We employ, for example, here I employ close to uh, 35, 40 people. So I'm not I'm not that small. I don't think I'm going to qualify for your. <laughs> but, uh, but that's okay. But that's okay. I have a friend here that owns a small restaurant. The restaurant's called Frida Room on 18th Street. And I think he's going to qualify. Okay. Uh, well, thank you again. Thank you for coming. I appreciate the, everything you've done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and now we'd like to have our two commissioners, Alma Anaya and then uh, Kevin Morrison. 
um, who are both involved in our small business uh, activities. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Buenos dias, everyone. My name is Alma Naya. Uh, welcome to the 7th District. I represent this uh, beautiful community, um, as well as uh, the biggest concentration of Latinos and immigrants in Cook County. Um, in the 7th, uh, 7th District, um, during the pandemic, uh, we saw a lot of devastation. Uh, I'm sure you all are aware. A lot of our business having to close, um, whether temporarily or permanent. Um, and we saw a lot of devastations with families and, and loss with, with lives. Um, out of the top five zip codes um, in the whole state, my district uh, saw uh, three of those. Um, and that was consistent. Um, but I think that that was the beauty of, um, of, uh, of that came out of, the, of that devastation was that we really rolled up our sleeves, became united, uh, and we saw great partners um, at, at different levels of government. But I'm particularly very proud of Cook County and what Cook County has done. Uh, the fact that we have put our money where our mouth is, um, we have really prioritized creating holistic programs that are going to help our communities. And this is just a very small example of what we've done um, with, with, uh, with our small businesses and, uh, and helping create and, and ensure that our communities are thriving. Because Alex is right, uh, our small businesses do not only um, create uh, very vibrant economic development, but they you know, hire individuals from the community. Um, they create cultural diversity in our communities. Um, so to be able to provide uh, this type of um, uh, grant to the, the smaller businesses is, is quite an honor to be a part of that. I, I'm very happy that I was a part of the working group. Um, I'm very happy to be the vice chair of economic, uh, business and economic development at the county because we are really working towards that goal to ensure that black and brown and women and immigrant uh, business owners really have what they need to be able to survive the devastation that we've gone through. So I want to again thank uh, Madam President, thank uh, Sochi um, uh, Flores, our Bureau Chief and, and her team for all of the great work that they've done and the intentionality of ensuring that it's going to the right place, that it's going to the people that need it the most uh, and to those that we need just that extra help um, with uh, access to capital. Um, hola, buenos días a todos. Uh, me llamo Alma Naya, uh, soy la comisionada del séptimo distrito, el distrito donde hoy estamos. Uh, me da tanta alegría hoy de nuevo estar aquí porque estamos uh, haciendo un anuncio muy importante sobre las becas que se, se les va a dar a, la, a los negocios pequeños um, en, en estos distritos que han sido devastados por el COVID. Um, los negocios pequeños traen mucho uh, fortaleza a, a nuestras comunidades traen uh, negocios uh, de, de, de quizás de, de comida o de diferentes oportunidades cultura, culturales, pero es, es muy importante también uh, notar que ellos um, uh, traen uh, trabajos y traen muchas cosas que hacen nuestras comunidades tan vibrantes en el condado de Cook. Y este condado hemos hecho mucho para dar ese tipo de apoyo a los negocios pequeños. Esto es un, un, una parte muy pequeña de lo que hemos hecho, uh, pero es, es uh, algo que vamos a continuar a hacer. Y sabemos que las aplicaciones van a abrir el 3 de octubre. Uh, vamos a tener unas cuantas uh, meses para que todos los negocios pequeños de los diferentes distritos que han sido impactados por el COVID uh, tengan esa oportunidad a dinero, a becas para que tengan uh, uh, un poco más de ayuda, porque ha, hemos visto mucha uh, devastación en nuestras comunidades. Y es igual, repito y recalco, es un orgullo es ser parte del condado de Cook, porque hemos hecho mucho a, 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 a las cuestiones que, que han sido ayudar a nuestras comunidades latinas, inmigrantes, afroamericanas, uh, que han necesitado mucho apoyo durante, uh, que, que es la… la Um, un poco de, de lo que ha pasado después del COVID. So, muchas gracias. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 
It is so great to be with you all today. Uh, welcome. I, I'm Cook County Commissioner Kevin Morrison of the 15th District, and I represent the Northwest Suburbs. I'm happy to join President Preckwinkle, the Bureau of Economic Development, and Commissioner uh, Almanaya, as well as all of our local partners here today. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to Commissioner Anaya for welcoming us in her district. I'm incredibly proud of the work the Cook County Small Business Source is doing to uplift our small business community. Prior to the COVID-19 pandemic, my friends at the Bureau of Economic Development were well aware that I was dreaming up a model for a small business support center or one-stop shop. They started the work to study how best to serve small businesses, and when the pandemic started, those studies were essential to setting up aid to keep our business community alive. I was proud to support uh, the Cook County Small Business Source then and thank BED for their hard work in making my dream a reality. And now, with this new uh, Source Grow Grant program, I am thrilled to see uh, the scope it has expanded to. As we saw during the first two years of the COVID-19 pandemic, grants like this allowed small mom and pop shops to keep their doors open. I'm grateful that the county is in a position again to offer support, and I know $10,000 grants like this will be a game changer for our, our small businesses. These grants will especially affect historically excluded communities, including people of color, the LGBTQ plus community, women, people with disabilities, and veterans. This marks another big step towards closing the racial wealth gap and our county's focus on equity. I look forward to working closely with Chambers of Commerce, municipalities, and business leaders in my district to get the word out about this important relief opportunity. Applications uh, will be coming live uh, starting this coming Monday. I want to thank again President Preckwinkle and Zochi Flores, as well as both of your teams for making this a reality. Thank you again, and I will now like to invite up uh, Yvonne Barrett, owner of Aki Ra Tailoring. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, and thank you, President Pratt Winkle. Oh, I'm sorry. Good morning, and thank you, President Pratt Winkle. I am Yvonne Barrett, and um, I represent Aki Ross Tailoring and Uwe Designs, located in Berwyn. Um, it's beneficial for us to have received the source grant um, because uh, being a person of color, um, it makes an enormous difference for uh, companies like us. To, to have um, access to capital. Um, grant programs like these uh, for entrepreneurs to help grow our business um, is, is to help um, close the wealth gap and uh, grow our communities. We were able to hire uh, two employees to get started and recovering from the pandemic. Um, it's a, a vital product and services that the Cook County um, can do to help create jobs and we can help make a difference and touch people's lives. Um, I'm very grateful for the support that we have received from the Cook County and we were able to get um, job training for the employees and m more marketing. And I just wanted to say that um, hopefully other people who will apply and they could use it to know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel when you're recovering from the pandemic. Thank you. Thank you uh, Marcella Cartagena, Chief of Staff for the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. On behalf of our CEO, Jaime Di Paolo, I want to say thank you, President Brett Winkle, for allowing our chamber to be a partner of the Source uh, Grow grant. I just want you all to know that behind the scenes, a lot of things happen to make this happen, a lot of moving pieces. If you look around this room, you'll see that there are a lot of people from many organizations that work every day to make this a reality. There's a lot of strategies and planning and meetings and conversations to make it work. Uh, we are the Hispanic, uh, Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, 
we are the largest and most influential chamber in the Midwest. So we've seen day to day how business has been struggling because of the pandemic. But at the same time, we've also seen a lot of successful stories. I'm very proud that we worked alongside with them to, to get the help that they need. I want to make a special uh, acknowledgement to our program manager at the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Her name is Hortensia Aldana. Hortensia, <laughs> Hortensia is truly a firecracker. She is the hardest working person I have ever me, uh, known. She's working day and day every day to, with passion and compassion, helping businesses uh, get the help that they need. We all know that owning a business is difficult. The first, second year are the hardest. A lot of times the business owners don't know where the money is going to come from to pay the rent, to pay salaries. They don't know if they're going to make any revenue. So for them to go past that difficult phase, we had to be there and help them. And be, grants like this are very, very important to make it happen. Now, even after the pandemic, always businesses will need help from all levels of government, city, county, state, federal. We have to be there alongside them for them to get the help they need. I want to end by, by giving you an example of a business owner who reached out to Hortensia. Um, it was very touching to see what this business owner told her in the previous grant program. She said, good afternoon, Hortensia. How are you? How are you doing in your country? She was traveling in Mexico at the moment that she wrote to, uh, to her. Let me tell you, oh my goodness, you don't know. The money arrived. Thank you. I am so deeply thankful to you. You're such a beautiful person, and with all the patience that you gave me, it ma you made it happen. Thank you, and for your partner who was so patiently helping me through the process. I can't remember her name, I'm sorry, but again, thank you, God bless you, always. That's the type of examples that we see at the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and I'm so proud to be part of this amazing program, and thank you again for, for providing that help. Uh, next up, I, I'd like to introduce Tania Anthony, the Chief Administrative Officer of Cook County. Good morning. My name is Tanya Anthony. I am the Chief Administrative Officer for the Bureau of Administration for Cook County. Um, before I start, I'd like to thank Madam President for your leadership on this initiative, Alex Cabrera for having us here today, Commissioner Anaya and Commissioner Morrison for your continued support. Um, I'd like to thank Yvonne Barrett for being here. Thank you for Marcella Cartagena for uh, your presence with us today. And I'd especially like to thank my friend and colleague, Soshi Flores, Irene Share, your entire team for your partnership in launching this program. I am honored to represent the county's Department of Veterans Affairs today. This department is one of several I oversee under the Bureau of Administration. I am grateful that $1 million of the Source Grow grant has been allocated to assist veteran-owned small businesses. As, a, as an Army veteran myself, I understand how crucial this funding is to help veterans retain and grow their businesses. According to the Small Business Administration, 6.1% businesses, 6.1% of all businesses across the nation are owned by veterans and employ approximately 4 million workers. Our veteran population helps drive a strong economy. Our veterans have served this nation with honor. We owe them a debt of gratitude that can never truly be repaid. They come home and continue to serve their communities in so many ways. This funding will help Cook County veterans build and grow their small businesses by providing finance and marketing mentorship as well as assistance with grant applications. 
This is just one of the many programs our Department of Veterans Affairs is working on to assist the county's veteran community. Empowering our veterans and offering support is key to creating a better Cook County for everyone. Thank you again. Now, I'd like to introduce my friend and colleague, Soshi Flores, Bureau Chief of Economic Development. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you again for joining us. It is um, really heartwarming to see so many of our partners, so many of our friends and colleagues joining us in this special announcement. Um, my name is Soshi Flores, and I'm the Bureau Chief of the County's Bureau of Economic Development. And I'd like to start off by just saying a few things. Um, first and foremost, Madam President, thank you for your vision, for her leadership, and most importantly, for her support over the last um, difficult couple of years. Um, additionally, to members of our Cook County Board of Commissioners that have truly been passionate partners, constantly calling, making recommendations, saying, how about if we do this? Or I've talked to this business, and I think we should add this to it. Because of their passion and real partnership, we have continued to evolve and make these programs the way they are today. And finally, and most importantly, to our incredible network of partners that are here today. And I know we have many more that are out watching today, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, you guys have really joined us, partnered with us, in this journey, and I do call it a journey because I know that Irene Scher, my deputy, has been on many, many, many calls with each of you, reimagining, reinventing, and figuring out how can we partner together to deliver these services in a better way for our small businesses. So thank you, thank you to each one of you. Collaboration, collaboration, collaboration has been a cornerstone of our model and we have demonstrated the deep impact that we can have by working together. It seems very simple, but um, oftentimes that's not what happens, so I am very proud of the work that we collectively have been able to do. There are many county agencies that are here with us today because although we have many external partners, internally it has taken a village at Cook County in order to make this happen people from procurement, from finance, from our president's office, um, our teams at Guidehouse, our consultants that are with us day in and day out thinking about how to make this better. Um, and to my team, to my internal team within the Bureau of Economic Development, your passion for this work, the midnight calls <laughs> that I really appreciate um, have really amazed me because I have not seen that anywhere else, so thank you, thank you, and thank you. Um, what we are doing today is really straightening, stre strengthening the connective tissue between all of our agencies and the small business owners. Seems very simple, but that is very much needed. Collaboration and having that close link between government and agencies that really put our customers first, the residents, the businesses of the county. Our collective efforts are making it easier for businesses to grow and thrive in this county. This is an exciting opportunity, not just to touch lives, but also to advance equity and grow the regional economy. It's hard to overstate the impact of $71 million infusion to our economy. Just as hard as it is to overstate the impact of $10,000 on the lives of the entrepreneur, but not just their own lives, but the lives of their families, the lives of the communities where they hold those businesses. <sighs> it's amazing. It's, it's very touching. Um, I have a long history of family that are entrepreneurs and were able to make it through very difficult times by having that passion. So seeing each of you that touch those businesses day in and day out, as we see with the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, knocking on doors and talking to those businesses and being passionate and compassionate and being patient and helping them work through it, I really appreciate that effort. I am confident that the success stories that will come out of today's announcement 
of businesses launched, of businesses strengthened, of businesses scaled, will prove out the excitement of today's announcement. And I look forward over the coming years to share the many, many stories of successes that we will undoubtedly see. So thank you very much, and please apply. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Do we have any, uh, do we have any folks from the press on the line? Oh, we've got somebody present. Okay, good. Oh, good. Thank you. I can't see you. Sure. I'm going to ask uh, Soshi. Irene, introduce yourself, please. Hi, everybody. I'm Irene Scher with the Cook County Bureau of Economic Development. So first of all, all of the funds, the 71 million, are from the American Rescue Act. Um, the county received a significant amount of funds and has allocated it to many programs. And we are delighted that we have 71 million for small business grants. The timeline for this year, for our, this current round, is the application portal will be open October 3rd. We're gonna keep it open throughout all of October. We are not reviewing any applications until November 1st. This is not a first come first serve program. So please do not feel like you have to hurry up. Once we receive all the applications, our partners, our grant administrators will be reviewing every application for eligibility and our priorities. We anticipate that will take eight weeks or so. And because of the holidays, we plan on notifying businesses in, in early 2023, probably January, of their status, whether they will be receiving a grant or not. Then, if they are receiving a grant, there's probably another period of six to eight weeks of back and forth, confirming bank accounts, confirming details, before the business will receive a check. So that is this round. We anticipate in 2023, we have another approximately 20 million for small business grants, and we will probably be planning, beginning to plan for that in March or April. And our intent is that we will pivot, adjust based on where we are in recovery and resilience. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.